It's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NBA action, Lakers Pistons. We've got a promo code. The code is SNOW for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Uh, Lakers, big favorites in this one, minus nine and a half. The total looks like it is around 220 and a half in some places. Uh, it's not set in stone, though, because we're doing this a little bit ahead of time. Uh, Lakers, uh, 14 and four on the year, 10 and eight against the number. Of course, they're playing as we're filming this, so that could change by one. Uh, Pistons, four and 13, nine, seven and one against the number. Now, this is a big spread to lay, but obviously the Lakers are pretty good, but obviously coming off that big game against the Sixers, uh, where a lot of eyes were on that game, uh, a big primetime matchup between between those two. Uh, the Pistons, not so much, not really on the eyes of America when it comes to the NBA. Uh, we've got Craig Trapp joining us to break this one all down for us. Craig, uh, early leanings on this uh, Lakers-Pistons game. Well, I, I, the early leanings is definitely thinking the Lakers will win and not cover because I think what's going to happen is the Lakers probably get slow start, um, you know, second road game in as many nights facing a Pistons team that, yes, they were on the road, but at least they're coming home. And the Pistons, of course, are going to get up. Anytime You're always getting up to play the Lakers and LeBron James. So I think the Pistons will be up for this game. I think the Lakers kind of slip through probably the first half, and the Pistons probably cover for the game. But I think the one thing you need to, to watch on this one is will the Lakers rest any of uh, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, or any of the other? They have a lot of veterans on that team. Will they rest them in the second game uh, of a back-to-back -back on the road? So that can happen, and that line will definitely move if it does so. But I think my initial leanings would definitely be take the Pistons in the points. You know, the Pistons have shown that they can beat some of the best teams in the NBA this year, but they've also shown they can get beat by anybody with the 4-13 and 13 record. I think that says that. Right, and I think the issue is just covering because we've seen uh, the Lakers uh, in their second-to-last game. Uh, they beat the Cavs, but they did not cover, and that was even in uh, LeBron's return to Cleveland where he had a huge night, but they still didn't cover the number. And then you had uh, their other game against Golden State. They lost that one outright, and so needless to say, they didn't cover that one. Uh, so in their last five games, it's kind of a mixed bag when it comes to that. But I think you're basically looking at the premium you pay when you're betting on the Lakers. It's such a publicly bet team that people just blindly bet the Lakers. So if you're looking at some of these big spreads, you might want to look at them a little bit more critically. I know the total is not really set in stone, but you, would you have any initial leanings when it comes to a total? Usually, in the, the when when I have two teams facing each other in a back to back spot, um, I'm leaning mm -hmm. towards the under. Especially this year in the NBA, I mean these under these over unders are in the two twenties. It seems like just about every team, and I would think this under uh, would be a pretty solid play. I just think like I like I said earlier when I talking about the side, I think the Lakers kind of sleepwalk through the first half. I do think they wake up at halftime, and they're one of those teams that can just flip a switch. Uh, when you have LeBron and AD, I mean, you, you're good enough to do that kind of thing. And I think that's what they'll do at halftime, but I don't think it'll be enough to get the over. So I would be leaning towards the under, but much better play. Just take the Pistons. You had a, uh, you hit that nail on the head, uh, Chelsea. You probably pay an extra three points when you're taking the Lakers this year and um, and LeBron James on the Lakers, nevertheless. Right. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our NBA talk here on Picks and Parlays. Good stuff from Craig Trapp. As always, Craig, thanks for joining us.